Jurors in the Daryl Brooks trial watch video of Brooks being questioned by police today. Brooks is accused of driving through the Waukesha Christmas parade last year, killing six people and injuring dozens more. During the interview, Brooks said his mother didn't own a car and could not drive. When Brooks was arrested, police say the key to the Red Ford escape was in his pocket. Police say the SUV is registered to Brooks's mother, Dawn Woods. Also, police asked why Brooks drove through the parade and what was going through his head at the time. He never answered that question. Joining us now to talk more about what happened in court today is attorney Julius Kim from the law group Kim and Lavoy. We always appreciate your insight into this testimony. You know, the prosecution showed the jury uh, Daryl Brooks lying to police after he was arrested and was being questioned by police uh, the day after the Waukesha Christmas parade. You'd assume this had some sort of impact on the jury when it comes to Brooks's credibility. In all honesty, the facts against Daryl Brooks are so bad right now that I'm not sure that uh, showing that Daryl Brooks um, had a couple uh, white lies, so to speak, about uh, who owned the car, where he was coming from, that type of thing is going to make a big difference. Um, but it certainly didn't paint him into a good light. It showed, you know, whenever someone is lying, when they're talking to a police officer, that shows a, a consciousness of guilt. So I don't think it helped him, and it showed that he was probably the person that was involved in this. And it just kind of is continuing on. How's the prosecution has been laying out their case, just walking us through every single moment from the moment they say that he drove his car through the parade to now being questioned by that. The prosecution says it's going to rest its case tomorrow. We'll see if that actually happens. You know, today we actually got a peek into why Daryl Brooks is calling one specific witness because he had a chance to question that witness today. And that has to do with trying to knock the state's credibility. Yeah, Daryl Brooks was afforded the opportunity to call one witness um, out of order today, um, and that was to accommodate a Spanish interpreter. And the point of the witness was clear to me, it was that the witness had identified the car driving through the parade as a black vehicle and not a red vehicle. It's, you know, a, a small point, but a point yet uh, that should be made. Um, it was something that Mr. Brooks caught in the uh, huge morass of uh, reports that he got. So tried to make his point. I think that the jury heard the point. I'm not sure it's going to change the outcome of the case, though. Lastly, let's talk about patience for a moment because it's been a few days since Daryl Brooks was kicked out of the courtroom by Judge Doro. Today, though, it happened. It was for a brief time, but it had to do with him continuously interrupting. Do you think the patience is wearing thin for not only Judge Doro and everybody else in the courtroom, but also the jury? Yeah, I think that that's definitely the case. You know, here we are three weeks into this trial. Everyone's uh, nerves are frayed at this point in time. I think Mr. Brooks was getting a little frustrated because he there are different rules when you question witnesses during a direct examination versus a cross-examination. And I think he was starting to get frustrated because I don't think he realized that that caused the temperature in the courtroom to go up and the timeout. But I think everyone regained their composure after a short period of time. And Mr. Brooks was allowed to come back into court. And to everyone's credit, um, the rest of the afternoon was uneventful. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how his side of the case goes once the prosecution does rest. So we'll, of course, bring you in for that and all the analysis that goes along with. Julius Kim, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Make sure to stay with Fox 6 for the latest from this trial. We are streaming it on the Fox 6 News Milwaukee YouTube page, our Facebook page, as well as on the app and the website.